And what is your favorite holiday? I think it's a tie between Memorial Day. There's more murders in the U.S. on Memorial Day than any other day of the year. And All Hallows Eve, when the boundaries between the land of the living and the land of the dead are the thinnest. What is the worst way you've betrayed a friend? I don't have friends, but I have betrayed people. When I was in high school, there was a girl in my class who told me she wanted to kill herself. And I could have helped her, but I didn't. And in hindsight, I do wish I had. I ran into her recently and she's married to a loser, has two ugly children and works part-time. You're the conductor on a runaway trolley. There are five people on the tracks ahead of you who cannot get off the tracks in time. If you continue forward, you will run over and kill all five. You cannot stop the trolley, but you can change to an alternate track where there is only one person on it. If you decide to change tracks, all five people on the original track will live, but the person on the alternate track will be run over and die. Do you change tracks? So if I stay on the first track, I get to kill five people without the possibility of getting in any trouble whatsoever. But if I change tracks, I only get to kill one, and there's a possibility that I go to prison. Why would I possibly change tracks? Is this a trick question? Is there a way to kill all six? If there is, I don't see it. I'd stay on the first track and settle for five. What's your most embarrassing guilty pleasure? I like to turn off movies at the sad part right before the end and say that's the ending. It works for every movie. For example, in action movies, where it looks like the hero is lost, in romantic comedies, where the couple breaks up and it looks like they'll never see each other again, you get a much more satisfying ending that way. You should try it. What is your most unusual talent? I'm an expert at falconry. I have a small collection of extremely well-trained birds of prey. I find owls to be particularly useful. What is your biggest regret? Marrying my high school sweetheart. <laughs> my ex-wife. Ex-wife. No more. <laughs> no thank you. Yeah, we were miserable. And now I pay alimony every month. What is the worst way you've betrayed a friend? <laughs> oh man, dude, uh, for years, my friend John used to sell my friend Keith weed, but it wasn't weed, it was kale, like 
he would sell him kale instead of weed. And uh, yeah, Keith didn't know, like for years, I was watching Keith like pack bongs with kale and, and that wasn't working. So then he would like make kale brownies and he had no idea. And uh, yeah, I should have told him, but it was just too funny. Describe a typical day in your life. I wake up, I eat, I go to work, I come home, I eat, I watch TV, and then I go to bed. If you found a wallet, would you return it? I mean, if there was cash in the wallet, I'd keep that, you know, finders, keepers. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'd return the wallet. I've actually heard if you put a rubber band around the wallet and drop it in the mailbox, the post office will return it. I don't, I don't know if that's true, but, but yeah, that's what I'd do. What is your happiest memory? Watching the Philadelphia Eagles beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl. I have been an Eagles fan my entire life, and I was beginning to think I'd never see them win a Super Bowl. Okay? Not only did they win, but they won in a shootout against Tom Brady in a game that had more offensive yards, more offensive yards than any other game in history, even regular season games, in history. And they did it with their backup quarterback. <laughs> it was amazing. What is your most controversial or unpopular opinion? Uh, owning pets is wrong and should be illegal. If your dog or cat isn't free to come and go as they please, they're not your pet, they're your prisoner. What is the dumbest thing you ever did? We heard they were going to cut down a huge area of forest, so about 20 of us went out there the night before to protest. We chained ourselves to trees so they'd have to delay their logging until they could get rid of us. Only... We were in the wrong place. Um, they were logging about a half a mile away, so no one knew we were there for almost a week. By the time someone found us, we were out of food and water, and we thought we were going to die. The guy who found us went to ask the loggers for help, and they had to cut down the trees we were chained to in order to free us. All we accomplished was getting an extra 20 trees cut down and almost dying in the process. What's the worst way you've betrayed a friend? I gave a lot of my friends chlamydia. In fairness, some of them probably had it already. We're all very open about our sexuality. That's just the type of people I vibe with. What is your proudest accomplishment? I organized a demonstration to save a park, and it worked. They were going to level the place and build a distribution center. We had people protesting at the site for three weeks straight and got over a thousand names on the petition. They ended up building the distribution center on the site of a nearby abandoned mall instead, so uh, we didn't lose any jobs or anything. It was a complete win. What do you do for a living? I escaped the rat race a few years ago. I cut all my expenses drastically, so now I only need a few hundred bucks a month to survive. I deliver food through those gig apps, but only two or three orders per day, just enough to get by. I find if I make more money than I need, I just end up buying stuff that clutters my life and makes me less happy.
What would you do with the money? Oh, I have a financial advisor that handles my money for me. My parents use them. They're really good. What is your most embarrassing memory? I was at a party once, and Lady Gaga showed up in the same outfit as me. How am I supposed to compete with Gaga? That was so humiliating. What is your most controversial or unpopular opinion? Okay. There's this James Bond movie called The World is Not Enough, where Denise Richards plays a physicist. Everyone was making fun of it, saying that she did a terrible job and that it was sexist of them to cast her. Here's the thing. She did fine. If she was more plain looking, I guarantee nobody would have said anything. The people who are saying that it was sexist are the sexist ones. They don't believe that a woman can be hot and smart enough to be a scientist. And that's the most sexist thing you can do. What is your biggest regret? I once turned down a modeling job because I would have had to go to Milan for four weeks. I was in high school at the time, so I might have had to repeat a year. In hindsight, it was a very famous photographer, so it would have helped my modeling career. I should have gone. What is the worst way you've betrayed a friend? I sort of stole someone's boyfriend once. Well, it wasn't her boyfriend. My friend Brooke had a really big crush on this musician, and I told her to DM him, but she was too nervous to, so I DM'd him for her. He wasn't interested in her, so... He ended up asking me out, and we dated for a bit. I can tell it made my friend a little uncomfortable, so that was one of the reasons why I broke up with him. That's the end of this round. We'll soon find out who will be going home after this message from our sponsor. Today's episode is brought to you by placebos. Are you a hypochondriac? Ask your doctor if placebos are right for you. Now it's time for the audience to vote. Please enter the selection of the contestant you think should be going home. The votes are in. The audience has voted to send home Lilith. Please keep in mind that this was not my decision. Let's start round four.